This video is going to be all about product descriptions, how you can write them to convert. So we've got a load of big holidays coming up and product descriptions are one of the most important elements of your page. You can have an absolutely bare blank website but with a really compelling description you can make a lot of sales. So I'm a copywriter and I actually use this technique on my own store to make sales. I'm going to show you the exact formula that I use that you can use for any product across the board, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Most people screen out commercials because they're dull. If you're selling fire extinguishers, open with the fire. Does anyone know who said that quote? Very famous marketer. Let me know in the comment section if you get it, but it's absolutely correct. Um, and the same thing applies to your product descriptions. Now, if they're not interesting or they don't appeal to the reader, they are not going to care and they're simply going to navigate away, okay? Now, I'm a big believer in copywriting and using uh, product descriptions to sell. You can have a bare blank website with very little content, but if the descriptions are compelling enough, it will convert, okay? So what I want to do this week is I want to run through a Shopify store very quickly and show you how you can improve the descriptions and give you a little formula for writing them yourself that you can apply to basically any product or service, okay? So the store in question this week is Serious Serum, okay? So on first glance, you know, there's nothing special going on here. They've even still got my Shopify in the URL, which I think is a little bit neglectful. But aside from that, they don't even have a product pages. You know, we've got two products here on one page. So I'd like to see a lot more content here, long form with um, different kind of elements on the page to really convince a reader that they need this product. But without further ado, let's just jump into the description. The best, AHA and BHA, these are chemical exfoliants, by the way. Uh, for ingrown hair eliminator and skin exfoliant you'll ever use okay so this is a post waxing uh, care system and basically it's to stop ingrown hairs and uh, to leave your legs or whatever other part of your body that you're waxing smooth okay and overall the description is pretty much lacking now what I kind of want to get into your head is that when you're writing a description okay you need to remember to make your reader the hero of the story and this is really important because right here this opening line says the best ingrown hair eliminator that you'll ever use now this is fine it works but it's really opening with a statement about them like the actual brand and it's not opening with a statement about the reader and how it can benefit them okay so i always equate this to like lord of the rings you know if there's any fans out there if the reader is frodo then we got to play the role of Samwise, who's uh, trying to help him get to the promised land or the end destination, which for him is, you know, the, the volcano where he's got to throw the ring. But for your customer, it's usually a purchase or it's an end result. You know, it's not it's exactly a purchase, but the purchase means something for them. In this case, people want to better themselves and get better skin and improve their physical condition by using the serum. So that's the end goal. So we always got to aim towards that. So what I want to show you is a formula that I use, which is very similar to the ADA formula, which is, I'll put that up on the screen right now. It's a very old copywriting technique, attention, interest, desire, and action. But this formula I'm going to show you is a little bit more in depth and it's a little bit more, um, uh, it's a bit, bit more effective essentially okay so let's go over to my little google doc right here so this is it it's five steps instead of four so what we want to do is start with a really strong hook and usually with the product descriptions it's a headline okay and what this does is it addresses a problem and it gets into the reader's head so that can be a hook with one sentence um, and then we have the intro so with ada if you're familiar with it we've got to get them down the slippery slope so the headline gives them a reason to keep reading, okay? But the intro gives them a reason to keep on reading and like keep slippering or keep sliding down that slope further and further down the page until we can eventually convince them, okay? Point number three is to aggravate, okay? So tell the truth by making a claim and then show authority and tell them, well, this is optional. You can back up that truth with research um, related to whatever problem that people experience. Now, you might be more familiar with the word uh, pain point, 
but this is just another way to kind of word this. Number four is you want to inject a little bit of angst. What happens if they continue with this common belief that they have um, in terms of, you know, in this case I would say like most people do not believe that they need to have some sort of after treatment when they're waxing. So we got to inform them and uh, educate them on the problems that can actually occur if they don't like do some sort of aftercare afterwards, okay? And then the final step is appeal and desire or slash desire. So this is a final contact call to action. We summarize the benefits of the product and then um, yeah, we convince them to buy it. We show them the steps to take to buy it. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you exactly how I would write this off the top of my head. So looking through the product here, I, I read over it briefly. So I kind of know what it's about. So I'm pretty sure I can craft something a bit more compelling than this. So what I did was I imported a photo into my Shopify store right here and I'm just going to start by breaking up the sections and then writing it piece by piece. Okay, so the, sorry, not the intro. What we want to start with is the hook slash headline. Okay, so it's got to be something eye-catching. It's got to be something that grabs their attention and makes them think, okay, let's see what this all about. This is all about. So um, just send ingrown hairs running forever potentially and um, I usually like to write a couple and then choose the best one for legs that turn heads wherever you walk okay so we can choose either one of these let me fix that and um, I'm kind of inclined to go with the second one because it sells on emotions a bit more you know in terms of like beauty products people buy for confidence they don't really buy the product itself or the ingredients they buy the benefit of extra confidence so I kind of like this headline so I might just stick with that one for this and then the second part of the formula was the intro or the slippery slope whoops intro to get them to keep reading now let me see do you get nasty ingrown hairs after waxing um, and then what I wrote here was what do most people believe or state a common misconception about you know the experience of waxing so I would say that most people don't think they need any sort of aftercare when they're finished waxing um, or even worse they'll scrub their skin to death which can oops, death oh sorry I'm all over the place here which can cause Even more problems for your body's largest organ. Okay. Now, what was the next part? Let's see. Oops. Alright, then we've got the aggravate. Tell the truth by making a claim. Okay. So I've kind of done two and one here. Um, I've said that basically this is a misconception and the truth is uh, it can cause more problems if they choose to scrub their skin okay so actually I'm gonna put in an extra section here most people don't think or even worse no, no. let's just skip to um, what will happen okay angst okay so we can always go back and like amend this afterwards guys but the point is just to whatever's on the top of your head just smash it out and then we can proofread it and kind of um, fix it up afterwards it's a work in progress you know so the angst is what will happen if they continue to uh, neglect aftercare and not bother with um, you know taking care of their skin after their waxing so 
I want to say no. We hit these uh, rebellious hair follicles as much as you do. Let me see. Okay. Right. It's not only. It's not only that they hurt and look unsightly, but they can actually cause serious health problems down the line. Um, like permanent scarring, pig and uh, I think bacterial infections is one of them. Let's say cysts as well. Because we want to make it a little bit extreme. So this is part of like, you know, putting a little bit of fear in them. Or not fear, but uh, angst as we've written here. Okay. And then finally what we want to do is we want to, you know, put the desire in them to by our product by stating the benefits okay so the desire is that's why we created oh sorry American it's without the U is it no. never mind that's why we created serious serum a premium a chemical exfoliator so you never have to worry about ingrown hairs or cosmetic health problems ever again okay and then we finally want to sum it up with some benefits. Serious serum. Now let's add some bullet points here. Leaves your skin smooth and supple from the moment of application. Um, reduces redness. Add a point in there. Is redness, what else? Smooths, smooth bumps and rough skin, deeply, deeply hydrates skin barrier. Okay, so these are the final points, the final benefits summed up. Super easy to read. Uh, this after we've informed them and educated them, this kind of uh, lays it out for them so they realize that we are we are the solution to the problem that we just educated them about, essentially, okay? And then finally, I like to just add free worldwide shipping as another we um, kind of benefit for them. Let's see. Grab your bottle and unlock your confidence today. Okay, so let's just go over that. Uh, the hook or the headline is for legs that turn heads wherever you walk. Okay, this is just put together very quickly, guys, but it's to give you an idea of how effective this formula is. Now, the intro, do you get nasty and gross hairs after waxing? Most people don't think they need any sort of aftercare when they finish waxing, or even worse, they'll scrub their skin to death, which can cause even more problems for your body's largest organ. Now, this might... Um, call some people out because people might read this and they think okay I do scrub my skin after I wax and I didn't realize it's a problem until now and we create the angst now we hate these rebe rebellious little hair follicles as much as you do as much as you do it's not only that they hurt and look unsightly but they can actually cause serious health problems down the line like permanent scarring pigmentation bacterial infections and cysts Desire. That's why we created Serious Serum Premium Grade AHA Chemical Exfoliator, so you never have to worry about ingrown hairs or cosmetic health problems ever again. 
Serious Serum, and here's the bullet points. Uh, leaves your skin smooth and supple, reduces redness, smooths bumps and rough skin, deeply hydrates the skin barrier, and then finally free worldwide shipping. Grab your bottle and unlock your confidence today. Okay, now this is done, I can remove these because we don't want to keep these here when we're publishing this to our product page. Boom. And now I'm actually going to make this a heading so you can format it here. Make that heading too. And now we're going to save it. And let's have a quick preview. Um, okay, I don't know why it's not showing up. Here we go, now here's our description, here's how it looks. For legs that turn heads wherever you walk, and here we've got a description that's much, much more compelling than this one right here, okay? It's a lot more informative, it's a lot more engaging, and it appeals to people's emotions, and more importantly, the whole description is about them. So it's you orientated. It's not about us as merchants, it's about them and how you can benefit them. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some little tweaks to make this a little bit more readable, because I don't like the fact that it all comes down in one column like this. So I'm going to show you a way that you can use PageFly, which is our app, to make this content much, much more enjoyable to read and much more engaging and it's going to convert much better. So I'll be right back in one second. Okay guys, now check this out. In the PageFly editor here, I just made a very quick um, change to the product page, the standard Shopify product page, to make it look a bit sharper and cleaner. And this is my new description right here. So I found a better image because the last one was kind of dodgy. Here's the headline that reels them in, I put some pink text in here to make it look a bit feminine and then I've got the whole description here and then finally <clears throat> I've got the add to cart which is pink and you can see I added this little glow shadow to it so it stands out when people mouse over it to make that purchase process even easier. Now compared to this page I think it looks really good and it just took me five minutes to make but the most important thing is the description is now like fundamentally rooted in psychology so I, I can guarantee you if you test these two pages against each other um, this one is definitely going to convert better. I, I know from personal experience with my own store. Um, even this call to action just doesn't really pop out enough from the page. And there's a couple of issues with the formatting. It just doesn't look overall that great. But like I said, the store does not have to be fancy. The description just has to be compelling. And you need to give your readers a reason to keep reading. And it starts with a good headline, a good hook and then a nice intro and then addressing a problem, educating the reader and then finally putting, positioning your product and your brand as a solution to that. So it's all about building trust and the best way to do that is to use the formula I've given you. And that's essentially it. I don't have enough time to show you how to make an entire landing page right now, but I did make a video on that last week. If you wanna watch that, um, I'll leave the link in the description. And if you want access to the formula, you can also catch that in the description. And if you feel like checking out the app to make uh, pages like this that are going to convert better, you can try it for free for 14 days. And that's all for me today for this week, guys. Um, leave a comment below if you liked the video and subscribe for more content that's going to help you increase your conversion rate and make more sales. Peace.